Now that we've covered the basics of inputs and outputs in Level 4, let's create a simple program with a FinchBot known as an Obstacle Avoider. Start by heading to the Control blocks and selecting the When a Key is Pressed control. We'll leave it on the default, the spacebar. Also in the Control blocks, add a Repeat Until loop. Next, go into the Sensing blocks and select a Control key. With this, your program will repeat until the key of your choosing is pressed. I'll set mine to the Q key. Now head back to the control blocks and select two if statements. These will cause an action to occur if a particular sensor is activated. For those sensors, go back to the sensing category, and for this, let's go with the left obstacle for the top statement, and the right obstacle for the bottom. First, we'll work on a series of actions for the left obstacle. Let's go into the looks category and pull in an LED block. I'll have my beak turn red for this one. Next, I'll go into the motion category and bring in a movement block. I'll set the block to go backwards at a speed of negative 50. To get the bot to pause in between actions, I'll go back to the control category and select a weight block. Even though it will be quick, We'll leave it at its default of one second. Now let's add a turn by going back into the motion category and selecting another movement block. To make the bot turn, just set the wheels at different speeds in the same direction. I'll set mine for negative 50 and negative 100. Now I'll add another weight block for one second. and then I'll go into motions for a stop block. This will end the program for the left side. For the right obstacle, I want a lot of the same actions with a few subtle changes. To do that, I'll select the program I've already created by right-clicking on it. From here, I'll just select Duplicate and then move the copy into the right obstacle. For my changes, let's go with a green LED for the beak this time. We'll have the bot continue to go backwards, but we'll change the direction it turns in by making the value negative 100 on one side and negative 50 on the other. And with that, you now have actions for if there is an obstacle in front of your bot on the right and left sides. If there is nothing in front of your bot, it will take no action with this program. But say I wanted my bot to go forward if there was no obstacle after the space bar is hit. Just add a motion block after the if statements, and it will activate the bot once the space bar is hit. I'll also include an off LED. We still don't have a reaction for when the Q key is pressed. In this case, I'll add a stop block to the end of the program when the Q is selected. Now all that's left is to test our new program by hitting the spacebar. And now you know how to create a basic Finch program in Level 4. For more info, check out our other tutorials.